Good morning and welcome to your daily spark. You know, guilt is like a warning light to the soul. Our guilt, our guilt alerts us to, to our actions and if they conflict God's will in any way. And it should alarm us enough to have to stop and actually deal with the problem. I remember watching a TV show some time ago where a couple was driving and the guy noticed that the check engine light was on and the girl was just driving away. Well, the guy insisted that they stop immediately and check the engine. But the girl said, yeah, I know it's been on for months. Don't worry about it. Well, then the guy said, well, is there a check the check engine light light? And, you know, the, when a check engine light is on, you've got to check the engine. That's what it's there for. And But we're a lot like that. Our conscience alerts us to things that are going on. But instead of stopping and confessing our sins and, and checking the engine and getting it right so we can go on with confidence, we just ignore it. Maybe we would put a sticker over the check engine light and say, well, she'll be right, mate. But the trouble is, she won't be right, mate. If we ignore it or cover it up, if we don't stop immediately and deal with our sin, what it will do is it will build guilt within us. And wallowing in guilt only discourages us and drains us. So if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us from all unrighteousness. So today, as you go into this day, I want to encourage you to concentrate on the things of God, on the things that are important, but also to, if there is any sin, any warning light, anything guilt, anything that hits your conscience, confess it and get on with life. Don't dwell on it. Don't push it aside. Confess it because that warning light is there for a purpose. So today, as you go into your day, make sure you're concentrating on him and not ignoring the warning light of your conscience. Bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.